How's it going, Joker fan? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again for the matter video for you guys. So, if it's your first time checking out one of my videos, first time you even come to the channel, man, make sure you guys drop a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 1K. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. It's free. It only takes one second. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Now, as you guys know, before we get into the legends, you know, you guys should already know Zero Chill. Captain of the No Fly Zone, Captain of the Oakland Raiders defense is finally back into the game. Charles Woodson, man. So happy he's back, bro. But, you know, we're going to get into that on Monday when Zero Show drops. But, Ted Hendricks is the man of the hour. As you guys know, Ted Hendricks dropped into the game. 90, well, 95 LTD, but 94 overall if you don't get his LTD. Cards of Beast, all right? We're going to go ahead, check out his stats, see what he's talking about. And I, I'm going to harp on a few things that I don't like about this card. And it's going to be pretty much the same things that I did not like about the Warren Sapp also. Now, don't get me wrong. Warren Sapp is a very good card. But he does not get double or nothing. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but he does not get double or nothing. It's very frustrating. But as it is... We're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about his abilities first, and then we'll get into his stats. <clears throat> Ted Hendricks. He does not get a lot of good abilities. Now, Edge Threat, depending on who you are, might you might say Edge Threat is you know, a good ability. But here's the thing. In my honest opinion, if you guys know Madden like I know Madden, it is a very anima animated-based game. All right, Animations make this game what it is. All right? The fact that you can put abilities on 10 different people will give your life, make your life a whole lot easier, okay? Having Acrobat, having Double or Nothing, that is so much better, in my honest opinion, because I'm giving my team animations everywhere. Somewhere is on the field, whether a ball is thrown, pass rush, animations are flashing everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Edge Threat is not a bad ability. But it costs 3 AP. I am not willing to sacrifice 3 players who can get Acrobat for 1 person who can get Edge Threat. That does not make sense to me. And on top of that, Edge Threat is only good for if you're coming off the edge. Where Double or Nothing is good across the line of scrimmage. You know, across your D-tackles, D-linemen, it's, it's good for all of them. But he doesn't get double or nothing, and neither does Sap, which is why it's frustrating with Sap because Sap is honestly, obviously, one of the best D tackles in the game. But the fact that he doesn't get double or nothing makes it annoying because he doesn't get those animations as someone who has double or nothing would get, obviously. But Ted Hendricks cannot get double or nothing, and honestly, his other abilities, they're not that good. Like I said, Estrad is good, but I'm not giving up 3 AP for it. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, the ability part, stat-wise, Ted Hendricks is an absolute beast. Now, this does play a part in what goes on with his stats, but I do have Lockdown finally maxed out, thanks to Ted Hendricks. But Lockdown is 50 out of 50, and he's obviously on the Raiders theme team, which is 52 out of 50 right now. But with his abilities, whether with his stats, right? My bad, not his abilities. With his stats, he comes in with 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 95 strength, 97 tackle, 95 play rec, 90 block shed, 93 power move, and an 87 finesse move. Now, this is why this card is very, very good. Power move is in the thresholds. Okay, so he can he can pass rush very well. Again, not as good as if he would have edge threat or double or nothing, but he will get in here and there. Block shedding. Obviously, he can stop the run pretty well too. All right, 90, obviously his threshold. So that that's another plus. But here's the thing too. When it comes to him being able to pass rush, once he gets off that block shed, with this 91 speed and 92 acceleration, he is coming after the quarterback. 100%. So you better get rid of it quick if he gets off a of shed, which is why I wish he could get double or nothing, because if he did, this 
this will be no doubt one of the best ends in the game. Well, linebackers in the game. I'm going to play him at end, but you guys get what I'm saying. Here's the other thing that makes him an absolute beast. And this is where the lockdown comes into play for him. On with the lockdown being maxed out, he gets man coverage of 89 and zone coverage, which is a 93. Now, man coverage doesn't meet thresholds, but it's decent enough. You know what I'm saying? But the zone coverage. The zone coverage is the biggest part for this Ted Hendricks because the way I run over G, he will be playing on the line of scrimmage. But here's the thing. For people who like to run those wheel routes and those you know, flat routes or whatever the case is, I can go ahead. Now, I will be sacrificing, obviously, a pass rusher on this, but I can put Ted Hendricks in a hard flat. And with him being six foot seven, 94 hit power also, he'll he'll wreck anybody who goes out there, 100%. And he has good enough zone to get an animation out there if he gets a pick or whatever the case is. He can do that. And on top of that, him having, obviously, the power rush, he can get pass rushing. He has good block shed, so he can stop the run very well. So he can do a lot of different things very well out of the position that I'm going to play him at, at least, in over G. Um, my big nickel over G. But like I said, the only problem I have with this Ted Hendricks is that he does not get double or nothing. That is my biggest issue with the card. And it was the same thing with Sap. Sap is very good. Very good card. Does a lot of things. Finesse move, power rush, um, block shed, and he has like I think 80 speed or something like that but he has very good acceleration he does a lot of different things good but he just does not get double or nothing and it sucks but as it is stat wise I think this Ted Hendricks will perform very well on anybody's team especially a theme team he will perform very well without any abilities but we're gonna go ahead and jump into a gameplay and see how he does anyways See y'all boys in there. Not a bad team. No fly zone. Let's get it, man. All right, Joe Cramps. So we're starting on no fly zone first. As you guys can see, Ted Hendricks on the D-line. Hopefully he gets some pressure. Oh, dang it. I should have had that. Should have got down there quicker. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's far. Oh, he held on to that. Opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. They'll try to run for the first with Bush. Ah, so easy. All right, Joker Prem. So we're on offense now, man. Defense, not a good start, but I'm starting to pick up on the things that he wants to do and where he wants to go to. So he's going to have a little bit harder time when he gets back on offense. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and capitalize on our offense. Taylor Mays helped to make the stop. From the shotgun now, here's an inside kiss. And he'll get this up. It's time. We'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of the first action. He's going to fire one. Poor. Let's go. What up, Addison? I need that. And he's going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one goes for 36 yards. And Walter taking it in over the <coughs> Giving up the first down. And they'll try to run the option. Let's get it. <clears throat> Let's go. And a first down. Escaping the pressure right. That's Cordero. Give him that. Okay. A little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they go play action with far. I can't believe I was there. I, oh my god. I can't believe I gave that up. I'm so mad I gave that up. Give me that. Oh, he's still in. oh thank god. Let's go. Let's go. Rogers, let's go. Come on, ba oh no, I better not get caught. There's no way. Okay, bet. And you know I gotta style, bro. You know I gotta style. I got to. Wow, okay. GG's. Alright, Joker fam. So, you know we had to get another game. Favre, Sam Mills, and Julio. And as you already know, no fly zone, bro. Let's get into it, bro. Alright, Joker fam. So, we're starting out on no fly zone first. 
See if we can go ahead, clamp up. <clears throat> First and ten, it's far. Flush to his right. We almost got to him. Second and ten. Here's five to throw. He's going deep for the first time. I just got one play touchdown going. I just got one play touchdown. <sighs> Alright, Joker Frames, we're on offense, man. Um here, here's the thing I like about people who run one play touchdowns. I'm gonna say this before I call this play. Where are you gonna go when your one play touchdowns cover? I don't know. Close left staring at a third and eight coming up. I should have beat. Wait, who's number 44? Oh, Humphreys. Patterson actually caught that too. I can't believe he caught that and then dropped it. That's why. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're going to try and throw. Hey, what happened? Are you serious? Will it pass that eye? And that sailed over his head right into Dion's hands? All right, Joker Frame. I'm confused, man. I, I don't know if it's because MJD is short or I don't know what, but the pass was accurate. It wasn't inaccurate. I wasn't pressured. The ball just went right over his head. He didn't jump. Nothing. So, I I don't know, man. That's kind of it's kind of weird to me. I ain't going to lie. That's going to be a dot, though. I don't know. It, it is what it is, I guess. Whatever. Throwing is far. He's going deep for Brown. How? How? Okay, you're too slow, Reg Reggie Nelson. You know what the sad part about this is? I will say this right now. I'm, I'm probably going to end up coming back. That's the real funny part about this. I'm going to end up coming back in this game and winning. That's the real funny part. If we can call Hike quicker than what we've been calling Hike, right? that would be nice. They go back to the ground. This time, Jacobs. And stopped it on the goal line. Stopped short of the goal line. No gain on the play. Brings up third. He'll try and run for it with ball. And he'll take it into the end zone. I just want to see if he's going to one play touchdown me with Tracy Porter back there. Jonathan <coughs> Coachman. That's all I want to see. Analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Hot end. Hot end. Teddy. So hot end. Let's get it, baby. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh my goodness. Okay. First and ten. Play action. It's far. Let's a hey, Teddy force that. Teddy force that. Y'all go back and look. Teddy force this. Teddy, come on, baby. Let's go. Put it on him. Risky, but I'm I'm blitzing Abram. I'm risky, I'm doing it though. <laughs> oh, let's go. Got him. What you gonna do with it though? Yrc, what you gonna do with it though? I need. Oh, I tried to stop and go. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. On third down, here comes. Let's get it. Josh Jacobs, baby, come on. Teddy! Oh, so well, Mac helped out a little bit, but Teddy got to him, though. Come on, baby. All right, Joker Fam, so we're out here on offense, man. Um, we're in the second half. Teddy's playing very well, so I'm very happy about that. We just got to keep capitalizing on everything else, and we'll be good. Oh, let's go. I was trying to get too much. I was trying to get too cute. That was my bad. Type of a game, considering the blitz that they just had against him. It's gonna be another. Oh, he got to it! Fuck! Oh, he baited that. 
Oh, he baited me decent. Oh, that's on me. I should have took the post route. It was going to be open. Oh, my God. Oh, fumble. Let's go. Go. Throw that block. Throw that. Why ain't nobody blocking? Why ain't nobody blocking this old lineman? What is happening? I'm wondering if Ruggs can beat this man out here. I, I would say he could. And he should. So we're going to try it. Let's get it, Ruggs. Let's get it. I'll take that. Come on, baby. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ted Hendricks. I put Ted Hendricks in the zone on that one. That's how you know when you're playing against somebody who's desperate. When they start having to run with uh, Brett Favre. Give me that. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go, dog. You know what time it is, man. All right, let me, hold on. Let me see if I can get Cordell Patterson with the streak run real quick. Nah, he got that safety over top. That ain't gonna work. I got Maurice Jones Drews uh, kind of open. Yeah, I'm waiting for his user to leave. Let's go. I was waiting for his user to leave it. Left it right in time. Let me see if I can hit Cordell Patterson with his post route, though. Post route open? Maybe. 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 Nah, nah, it ain't open. If he could go back to the middle, nah. Nah. All right, Whatever. GG's. All right, Joker fam. So that's gonna be the end of the gameplay, man. Um, I already like I told y'all, man. Like just just basing it off of what I was seeing, what he was doing. I already told y'all guys, like almost at the beginning of that last gameplay, I was gonna come back and more likely win that game. So I'm gonna end up coming back in this game and winning. You know, it is what it is. But like I said, Ted Hendricks played very well. Okay, he is able to play zones very well, obviously. Got to the quarterback, as you guys saw, quite a bit. And did it all. No abilities on him. You know what I'm saying? So, again, it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? You can now, you don't have to worry about putting abilities on Ted Hendricks. He plays fine just without him. You can put abilities on other people. Would it be nice for him to get the ability that I want him to get at least? Of course, I would love for him to have double or nothing. But he can't get it, but doesn't, doesn't change anything. Doesn't change how he plays. Doesn't change him getting to the quarterback, how he plays zones. None of that. Still plays like an absolute beast regardless. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. If you guys picked up Ted Hendricks, did you guys put abilities on him? If so, what abilities did you guys put on him? And I know you guys are excited for Charles Woodson. Zero Chills coming out Monday, so... I know you guys are looking forward to that, and I'm sure you guys are looking forward to the video for him. So I'm going to make it a nice one. I'm going make it a nice one for you guys. But with that being said, guys, that's Ted Hendricks. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, make sure you guys drop some glass on that like button. Subscribe to the channel, Joker family support. Till the next one, guys. Peace.